Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, how are you? My name is Brittany, and thank you so much for watching. I'd love if you'd stick around for a while. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few places in my home that I have decorated for fall and Halloween, and I've incorporated a decor haul as well. So let's get started. This first item I'm going to show you, I picked up from a lady on Etsy, and it's this Candy Corn Sweet Treats Collection. I love supporting small businesses and when I saw this candy corn treats, I had to pick some up. This set of three candy corn pieces is absolutely beautiful and I love the hand painting details that she has on these candy corn items. Also the next thing I picked up were some cupcakes which I think are absolutely phenomenal. I mean look at the quality of that frosting, you could almost eat it. And then she also had a lollipop available as well. And I just love the yellow and white stripes on the sticks. And then possibly my favorite items are the set of macaroons. Look how adorable these are. I just love the details of the sprinkles and then the addition of the little candy corn flakes as well. I will link her Etsy store down below for you. I just think these items would be perfect in a tiered tray for fall or Halloween. This next item I picked up from Target. It is a set of eight crocheted pumpkins. It was $8, so each pumpkin was a dollar a piece. And I love the details of the crochet in the fabric. How beautiful are these? This next item I created myself. Amazon was having a discount on a set of canisters that looked very similar to the Ray Dunn canisters. And I created my own decals. So I think that these turned out very well. I'm not too happy with the color of the lid. I think I might spray paint that black. Let me know what you would do down below. Do you think I should keep it the wood grain color or should I spray paint it? This next item I picked up from Target and it came in a set of three and it's this lavender colored floral. Uh, what I didn't know when I ordered it online was the fact that it's foam pieces. So I'm not quite sure of how I feel about the quality of this item, but it will do for what I need it for. And it would definitely look beautiful in my display. Also in the dollar spot for a dollar a piece, they have these individual lamb's ear pieces. And I think these are wonderful for tiered trays. The next item I picked up from Target as well, and it's this glass anchor pumpkin canister. I've wanted to get one of these every year, and this year was the year that I decided to pick one up. And I put it on my island with just some candy corn in it. I think it would look really good with some tea lights or fairy lights as well. Now I'm going to show you my Eden dining area. As you can see, I kind of did the blue neutral colors here. I included my Farm Life Ray Dunn canister, of course my glass pumpkins and wooden beads, and then this was a recent pickup from Target, and it's actually in the Christmas section. It's this porcelain barn. It feels like those little ones you could almost paint, like when you were a little kid, but I'm going to leave mine white. And then of course I have my plaid placemats at. Now I'm going to show you my coffee bar area. I think it turned out really good. I'm not completely finished with it yet. I would like to add some more things to the bottom. And then I also want to add some more wall decor. Let me know of items that you like down below that you think I should incorporate to my decor. But I picked up these wall bats from Amazon. They were perfect because they included the stickers with them. And then my Adams & Company bat my Joanna Parker Ghost, those candy corn, and then of course I love these striped vase containers with greenery from Amazon and Dollar Tree. And then I have my blue coffee maker that I picked up from Kohl's at Labor Day. It was only $14, y'all. Such a great steal. And then of course I have some candy corn picks in one of my vases, and then also one of my glass pumpkins that you've seen me haul before. Now on the bottom, I added some bats to the walls, and then I put my Ray Dunn mugs that I have, and then my Fright Night cookie platter. And I'm trying to decide what else to put down here. Like I said, I'm still working on it, so I kind of left some packaging on the mugs until I decide that's where it's going to go. But if you have any ideas of what I should put down there, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. 
Now, one of the places in my home that always I enjoy decorating the most is my fireplace mantle. When we have this house built, I just love the stone on the fireplace and it makes for such great displays. So on the mantle this year, I've incorporated a lot of the pumpkins that you've seen and then also some Ray Dunn pieces as well. And I also have my Amazon flickering candles some stems of cotton, some leaf greenery, and the sparkling vine picks from Dollar Tree, and then also some leaves from Dollar Tree as well. And I have some Target pumpkins incorporated in there. As you can see, these are some Dollar Tree pumpkins that I've put on there, and then some of them I got from Hobby Lobby, and also some of my Ray Dunn pumpkins as well. But I think this turned out super beautiful, and I'm so excited about this, and I just love these picks in here with the mix of floral. Now I can't decorate for fall until I bring these pumpkins out. They're absolutely beautiful but they create such the mess. They shed glitter I swear but I love them. And here is another overview of my fireplace mantle for fall. And now I'm going to show you my entryway. I have a very narrow entryway and I'm still trying to locate a table that will work in this area. So for right now, I just have a shelf here and I like to decorate it simply as well. And you know me with the blue and neutral colors. I think this turned out super wonderful. And with that, it brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like, leave a comment down below and subscribe before you leave.